Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mouse key skill video on multiplying mixed numbers. Now remember a mixed number is when each number has a whole part and a fractional part. So this means four and a half, that is a mixed number. Now we previously explored how we can multiply two normal fractions together. And there's only one extra step when we have mixed numbers and it's this. You just convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions first and then we can do what we did before. So, four and a half, how do we convert that to an improper fraction? Now, do you remember we multiply the whole part by the denominator and then add on the numerator? So we do four times two is eight, plus one is nine, so it's gonna be nine over, and we use the same denominator. And then we're multiplying by, well, let's do the same thing here. One times three is three, plus two is five, so it's five over, use the same denominator, three. And then we can just multiply these like normal fractions. So remember, we multiply the numerators together. 9 times 5 is 45. And we multiply the denominators together. So 2 times 3 is 6. Now we can simplify that fraction because these both have a common factor of 3. So if you divide the top by 3, you get 15. Divide the bottom by 3, you get 2. And you could convert that back into a mixed number if you want. If it asks you to in the question, that's going to be 7 and a half. And the way I got that is I just did 15 divided by 2. 2 goes into 15 seven whole times. So the whole number of times it goes in, you put the front. But there was a remainder of 1, and you put that as a numerator. And I explored that in a different video. What about B? Now this time, we've interestingly not got a fraction here. This is just a whole number. Now whenever that happens, just write it over one. So we're gonna put three over one because three divided by one is just three. So I haven't changed the value of that number. And then we need to convert that to an improper fraction. So we do the usual thing. Two times five is 10 plus two is 12 and that denominator is five. And then let's do what we did before. So we multiply the numerators, three times 12 is 36. And we multiply the denominators, one times five is five. And again, if you wanted to, you could convert that into a mixed number. So five goes into 36, seven whole times. And we have a remainder of one, which we put over that same denominator. So that's the final answer.